So to do a intercept for HCM in a query. So for this, we're going to transaction F200 and we will create an intercept. We go to the environment, intercept, and in there, we will then be able to give the intercept a name. I call it query intercept demo 4. I say create and I choose logical database PNP. I will explain later why. And um, if I don't give it a name, it will complain to me. So I have to give the intercept a nice name. Here it says specify a name. And I call it uh, test intercept. So why did I not use database PNP CE? Because I'm not in concurrent employment, so I'm not using that. But the principle of creating a PNP CE, as it warns me here, a PNP CE intercept is exactly the same. So I check this. It comes up with my info, si info types, which are here. I choose 0, 1, and 2. And in all these nodes are all the in other info types. If you're looking for them here, these are the core info types. Down here, the cross net payroll. Down here, further info types. If you can't find them anywhere, they're in further info types. Look at them, and they will be there. So now it creates us the individual info set contents and these are the field groups so you see the three info types are nice in field groups so all the information if you want to move some more fields from here to here you can do that so i say save i save it away and now i say check and i hit of course an error a very bad error but this is easy to solve you cross out of that you go out of it we don't generate the info set go one step back and you hit into OK code slash n if you want to really clear everything. You go back to the SQ00 transaction and you say info set and it comes up. You say change and now you are back in that and you say check and it has no inconsistencies. Now you can generate it. We are happy. We have all the fields in there. And if you hit generate, it generates your info. It's very important. If you don't generate, it's not there. So down there, it says info set generated. Wonderful. So far, so good. Now, these are all our field groups filled with contents. And now we can see here, if you want to add info types, we say edit. And we add info types, any one you want. Here, for example, info type 6 for addresses. We we'll hit the check mark, and here are all the address fields. This is safe. We hit check. It's still perfect, and we say generate. Everything is fine. I speak a bit fast, so it goes under five minutes, hopefully. Now we go back. We go to environment queries. Or oh, before we do that, we have to assign the info set to a user group. It's very important. If not, you don't see when you do the queries. So we go to our role user group assignment. So we assign the info set to the role user group, role and user group. So we scroll down to the last one and we choose our Z user group and we edit. And we hit save. And now we can see it when we create a query. We can see our info set and we can create a query from here. So we go to environment, queries. We say, give it a nice name. We don't use the buttons on the right, the change and create buttons. So we see that these ones we don't use and this one we don't use at the moment. Yeah? Use the info set query, it's much better. Then we go to our user group, which you see on the bottom here, and uh, we choose our info set user group combination here. And you see there is our info set demo 4, that's what I'm using. And I hit check mark, and now it opens a window. It shows us the information about what we can do here. We can add fields from our info types which we have the actions organization assignment personal data and addresses so we use that now there are options for output which we use later so now we open the actions and we do not select any selection fields because the query is having the normal standard sap report selection screen all right we don't choose any so to make that happen, 
we go to settings and we always say start via selection screen if that is not selected select it so it's very important that you have it. So basic list comes via SAP list viewer start via selection screen green check mark and that creates for us automatically the selection screen so we don't have to enter any selection fields but for the output we would now choose a output field so for example the personnel number we want to have this in the output we want to have it for an action type and we close it we open the next node we want to have personal data last name first name and we don't use complete name because complete name you can't separate so i keep it simple here if you choose value and text you would have the personal number with first name last name we don't want that either so i leave that we have here the action type the last name first name it's a horizontal list a sample list very nicely done close it now we put in the address we don't choose the address type we choose the co name uh, street city district postal code and that's probably it and your yeah, second address line if you have an apartment or something like that so we should be good now so we save the whole query and after we saved it we give it a nice name very important to give it a nice name if you don't do that you will never find it again so give it a nice name um, call it address labels or something like that make sure you give it a long text as well and uh, so if you save it it gives you a warning or an error if you make something wrong do something wrong here i forgot the underscore so put a nice underscore in here and then you say save and yeah here we save it and then you say output now it comes up with a standard selection screen it tells you this would be a slow report we will play with it and you will see how fast that is so we accept that it might run a bit slow and so it comes up with a screen see the standard sap selection screen very nice these are the different options the list viewer and uh, here we put in probably a personnel area this comes with the query you don't have to do anything so we choose 1500 or 3000 for new york and we run it it runs a couple of seconds here it runs and it brings us a list from all these people so with all the data we have so first name last name street and house number city postal code if we scroll to the right it gives you all that information so we don't like for example the action in that report so we go back we want to have the action type removed we go up actions we remove the action type and the reason for action and close it in the address we might be might be good everything looks fine so these are all the output fields on the right side so we say save we say query output hit that field you don't have to do anything else just hit output and accept that it should run a bit slow it does not so we run it i don't enter anything now it runs for today and you see it runs for about 5236 people so or hits it has so many hits and there it is everything looks fine it didn't run too slow so that's all we have for today and uh, these are the options